Now we have three scenes added to our first project. And if we click on the scenes at the top here, you'll see that we really don't have the ability to do much and we can't even really see what these look like. So in order to be able to edit one of our scenes, we need to close the canvas. You see, here we go. Now this is a closed canvas and this is the place where we can make edits to this particular scene or to any other scene. So before I actually do that, what I want to do is take a look over here at the preview panel. So now we have the elements visible to us and we can watch and see in real time when we make changes to the scene. Um, I'm going to take a look over here. We've got scene SWF. That's an animation um, area slide. We're going to click on the slide. All right, we're working on this slide. We're going to click on that and we are going to customize the animation. Now, when we open that tab here, you'll see that, uh, that the text that appears here appears over here. We have two different text units on this slide. We have a text here and we have a set of text here. Both of those are editable. So I may say, hi. We've got text there. And text there. Now these texts are have already been pre-formatted in the system. Uh, if you take a look at Jim here, what we can see is Jim is using the default font. The text size is 70 pixels. It is um, center aligned and it's got uh, let's see, vertical aligned from the top and there are no special effects. So what, how can we change that? We can add, first of all, we can add or change the font. Um, you'll see here in my font list that I've got a lot of different fonts. The fonts in my particular list here that are preceded by the asterisks are fonts I added myself. If you want to add your own font to this slide or any other slide or your system and then make those fonts available for the future, you can import the font here. This may be a pro um, feature. I think it's on standard, but I'm not sure. But at any rate, this is where the one of the places where you can import the fonts. Um, and you can do that while your project is open. Um, the list of fonts here that are not preceded by the asterisk our system fonts and explain to you that are included. And you've got lots of really neat uh, neat fonts here. A lot of the fonts that are that are the default fonts are pretty cool just as they are. But if you want something a little more condensed like that, you can work with that. I don't think that's a very good selection. Um, you can do something. Architect's Daughter is kind of a nice font. I like that. that uh, I like that for sketch more than for this particular for, for an explain to your slide, to be honest. It's a little bit less formal. It's uh, a very casual font. Um, there are some really good ones like Changa, Changa one, and some others. I'm just going to go back to the default for now. Um, you have the ability to add uh, Lots of, you know, a number of different effects to this if you want. Um, that might work, the black clone shift. It adds a little bit of shadow behind that. It makes it stand out a little bit more. That's one I, I would use. I wouldn't go crazy with, um, with effects. Sometimes you can get really, really distracted um, if you have too many or use them, uh, you know, just, just for the sake of using it. Let's go down to, he's a real estate agent. And the black clone shift C that could that, that works pretty nicely. I like that kind of font. Um, the image that we have, we have this, and this refers to the background image. We have a background image that's blue here. Um, we don't have any videos here. If we wanted to add a video here, we could. We could add a background. Uh, video so that instead of this blue text area we could make that a video just by selecting it from the uh, 
from the hard drive, you would just browse to your hard drive and put a video there. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. It's in some depth. Um, animation. This is a tab where you can actually add some animations that are built in to your slides. So you see here, if I just leave that on, this is a, a default for the first animation. There are other animations that are probably easier to see when you don't have that text there, but these are built-in animations with each slide. Um, and all of the slides have different types of animations. Um, animation two here on most of the Explandio stuff is uh, a set of arrows that people can use to point to buttons and, and, and for a call to action on your, on your page. Um, each of these works the same. You know, you go to slide, and customize the animation. Go to text, go to image, video, animation. And then outline is one more here. And outline are, if you click and unclick here, you can see what that controls. So on this one, it controls the background. So if you want to get rid of that blue background, you can do that. Uh, you can also change the color of the background if you want. To something and then click on that and it will change to whatever color you choose you see that all right um, outline area number two is for that box around the text so again you can get rid of that if you want and I often do that I will often just delete the text around uh, or, or the boxes around the text and sometimes you can get a very very nice effect like that uh, the other option you have also again is to change the color of the box. So you can do that just by, <clears throat> you can do that right here. And you can pick any color you like and change the outline, the color outline, and then take it from there.